Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to show you guys a really cool tool that I found for all of these subdomains. So let's get right into it, shall we? Say for example, you've run Sublister or your tool of choice. By the way guys, in one of the coming videos I'm going to show you guys a much cooler tool than Sublister. Because I use them, Sublister is pretty old, so there are new tools available. Um, but let's say you've run one of the, these tools and you found a massive list of subdomains. For example, for google.com I found 1100 subdomains. Now that's a whole lot of subdomains if you have to check them manually. So of course I want to automate all of this. I want to know which of these have a web server because I'm a web application hacker. So all I care about is web servers. So I want to scan all of these. So what I do is a few simple steps. Um, first of all, I copy this whole list. Then I paste it into Visual Studio Code because here I can put HTTPS in front of all of them. Uh, and then I go into uh, Nano. So I have a new file for you guys here. Um, this file I created in my eyewitness. This is the tool that we're going to talk about today. I created this in my eyewitness directory and I created a file called google.com. And in this file, I pasted all of my URLs, every single one that I had, I pasted it in here. And then I ran eyewitness. Now I like to run Docker, of course. So I run eyewitness in Docker as well. And as you can see by the command, Docker container run minus minus RM minus IT minus V. And this minus V is for uh, mounting the current directory slash eyewitness. So what this will do is it will create an eyewitness directory in your current directory and it will mount uh, also temp eyewitness. Now in this directory I've created my google.com file so I can just say run the docker file uh, eyewitness docker use the, the uh, minus f uh, flag option so dash f for google for the file google.com this is the name of the file that it has and it is in this directory that i've created the file and i want to check all protocols now what this is going to do is uh, going to give you a screenshot of all of these different hosts that uh, it visited so for example https.one.google.com it created an image, let's see here real quick. One month membership to get more out of Google. This might be interesting already because now I can understand what's happening and I can go through all of those files and I can go through all of the screenshots and I can more easily, uh, I can more easily identify a good target. So I hope you guys found this an interesting video. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to like this video. Um, and I hope I'll see you in the next one, of course. Bye.